Alright, today I'm going to give you guys a detailed look at this Revotech figure, and the figure is Carnage. And there's the box. And on the back, just a mess of images and all the accessories. So let's get this figure out of the pack. Alright, on the bottom tray, there are a bunch of weapons that's generated from the symbiote. And uh, we have a translucent base right here. And underneath, there are two shoulder pegs, uh, replacement pegs. And then uh, here are all the weapons. Let's get a closer look at them. And then uh, we have connectors as well. And uh, here are more weapons. And two more connectors. Zoom back out. And here's the top tray. And more symbiotes and then a couple of hands not too many hands we have a couple of them over here let's see if it focus in and there we go these are the hands and then a couple of uh, uh, replacement uh, interchangeable eye pieces there the figure then more tentacles a bunch of them here, smaller ones, the mid-size, and then large ones, and uh, another pair of hands, a pair of fists, and uh, a little wrench, a little plastic wrench. Alright, so let's get a good look at Carnage. Right now I gave him a pose of kneeling down, and uh, before I put on any of the tentacles, uh, I just want to show you guys uh, what he looks like without it. Let's focus in on the head for a second. And uh, one thing I didn't like about this figure is the mouth section, mainly the tongue, because uh, uh, the head, uh, the jawline itself, is uh, created out of uh, well, the head itself is created out of four pieces: um, the main top of the dome, and then uh, the the back section. Let me let me Actually, there are only three pieces. Uh, first is the dome. And then um, the the main mouth section, and then the chin section, and uh, you can see it is divided into uh, two separate pieces here uh, to give it a little bit of more uh, the jaw itself. It's uh, more uh, gives uh, gives it a little more articulation, but uh, what they have to do is uh, they have to split the tongue section in half. So now it looks kind of weird when you look at it straight up. Here you can see, when you look at it straight on, you can clearly see uh, a section of the tongue is uh, cut in half, which uh, kind of annoys me um, looking at it, because uh, I felt like there's, it's just, it doesn't look right to me. And while I have his head uh, off, uh, you can see it is double jointed, uh, these uh, Revotech joints, uh, there are two of them, it's kind of like the shoulder, but uh, yeah, right there. It's attached to the next section, and then the next section is attached to the body with another Revel Tech joint. So um, he does have great range of motion. So here you could actually have him look uh, way up, way up, and then look way down as well. And here it is looking way down. And uh, with uh, all those joints, uh, when he's crouching down like this, uh, he could still look straight ahead, which with uh, no problem whatsoever. Let's get a good look at the rest of the body. And with the shoulders, you gotta be really careful with these double joints here. Um, as far as uh, how you turn it, you gotta be really careful because if you turn it the wrong way or uh, force it, then uh, it will snap those joints uh, apart. So you gotta be really careful when you're uh, messing with these things. Um, the elbows are fine, there's only a single joint. And then same with the wrist, but uh, the shoulder itself, it has double. Uh, you gotta be really careful with that. And then the uh, shoulder blade. Uh, and actually, uh, there is a um, swivel joint. 
And here, um, I did a really extreme where you could uh, throw this whole section forward and then um, you could also rotate it all the way back. And just like that. So there is a, a peg system where it could actually swing forward and back. It's like that and, and back, just like that. And as far as the chest, I'm not exactly sure what type of joint that is. Um, it does allow you to do an ab crunch, but uh, as far as uh, moving it from side to side, it's uh, quite limited. And here you can see you can do an ab crunch about that much, but not so much uh, from side to side though. It's a bit hard to see, but uh, as far as the hips, uh, they're on a ball joint. And then the thighs are actually on a swivel. Then the knee, there's a ratcheting joint, and then the kneecap also has a joint. Then um, the top of the boot section, well this technically isn't a boot, but uh, that section right there, it has a joint. Then uh, also the ankles, and then the toes. Right here I got the uh, carnage on a base. Right here, he's jumping towards someone, and I uh, got those uh, symbiotes all over his body now, uh, tentacles, whatever you want to call it. And um, there's no wrong way of uh, attaching these things, cause uh, it's just whatever you think look, uh, whatever you think looks best on uh, on on Carnage here. And uh, yeah, there are a lot of peg holes for you to attach these things onto. Uh, there are quite a bunch of them on the backside. Um, let me close up, zoom in a little bit so you guys can look at them. Noise, you can just attach uh, to wherever you want, even on the shoulders, there are one on each side, and then also on the, on the thigh section, uh, on the inner thigh, uh, there's one on each side as well. So, it's kind of neat. Rotate them around. Yeah, there's a lot of possibility with this uh, Carnage figure. Really fun to pose and uh, lots of uh, options. So for someone who, uh, if you're one of those people that really like posing figures, then uh, this is definitely a figure you would want to pick up. And uh, if you already picked up Spider-Man and Venom, then you gotta have a Carnage. Alright, you got him on a standing pose right here with uh, some of these uh, weapon attach uh, weapon attachments, and uh, yeah, um, I highly recommend uh, getting a, a plier if you want to remove some of those pegs, uh, like this right here. Uh, you can see, each of these weapons has a peg that's attached to it. Now, um, you could add on extensions and stuff like that. But uh, on the forearm section, uh, the wrist section, there's already a peg um, that's attached over here. Um, you could either remove that one or remove one of these from the weapons. And uh, I highly, highly recommend using a plier, pliers to um, to clamp onto the peg itself and then slowly remove it. Because uh, eh, it's not going to work if you want to use your fingernails to do it. It's just going to break it right off because they are very very stiff uh, they're attached on there quite tightly so yeah you gotta be you gotta use some force and uh i highly suggest suppliers so at the end of the day i do highly highly recommend this figure because uh, it does come with a lot of accessories and um the look of this carnage is just amazing but one thing you gotta worry about are these little tiny pegs. Because uh, if you aren't careful, they will snap on you, or they will break. But uh, the good thing about it is that uh, with all these weapons that Carnage comes with, uh, each of these uh, has a Robotech joint attached to it. So you got a lot to replace with. But uh, kind of say, you gotta be really careful. So one of these. It's very essential uh, when you're messing with the carnage here. And uh, this guy is going to set you back. <clears throat> I believe I paid. Uh, how much did I pay for this guy? Uh, was it 70 or 80, somewhere around there, through uh, Ami Ami? 
I got it straight from Japan so the US should be receiving this guy soon probably in uh, a few weeks or so but yeah again highly recommend this thing just look at this carnage it's, it's absolutely gorgeous and again if you have Venom and Spider-Man then this is a must for you and even if you don't have those I think uh, by itself carnage would 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 be a great addition to anyone's collection yeah so there you go there's carnage from uh, revel tech uh, thanks for watching